Hi, in this video we will see how to acquire data from LM35 temperature sensor and plot a graph in MATLAB. So here uh, uh, LM35 sensor is connected to the A0 pin of Arduino Mega and we will do a GUI function program type guy choose a blank guy and go into plot a graph going to display the temperature value and the start button double click on the start button I'm going to name it as uh, start I'll change the push button name to start So that's it. Save the file. LM temperature. Save it. So here we go into edit our file. First, uh, initialize the variables to clear all the data and initialize the global variable. Then A equal to Arduino. So that's it. And we'll go for our main function now. So when you press the button, so here our push button. So when I press the push button, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate my temperatures for a Hundred loop. So if you want more than that, you can also uh, go for higher loop. So I'm gonna go for only for hundred loops. And before that, I need some variable. That is, I'm going to initialize a variable called x. It assign it to zero. And the global variable, we have to call it back. And We'll go for a loop function now. R I equal to. So this is what I'm gonna do for this loop. Only under reading. V equal to read voltage of a comma. The pin that I've connected my analog sensor is a zero pin of Arduino Mega. So let's connect that and I'm gonna do some math here so V divided by 0 0.0048815 so here I'm converting my voltage to analog signal so whatever the MATLAB func uh, interface that is connected to the Arduino Mega is we will get only the analog signal that is where varies from 0 to 1024 is converted to the voltage that is 1 to 5. So what I'm doing here is I'm converting the 1 to 5 voltage level to uh, analog value and assign the temperature to analog value that is required into 0.4 Eight, eight. So this is the value. If we multiply the analog value with this value, we will get the temperature data. This is the data I got from Arduino website. And display the temperature on my command window. And x equal to x comma temperature and then we'll plot the graph plot x 
we have to plot as handles dot axis one comma x and then grid on okay most of the thing is finished here then the program and one more thing we have to do is we'll display the value of our temperature sensor to the edit text so set handles dot edit one comma string comma number two string converter and the value of ten so that's it and one more thing we have to add uh, is uh, create a function so that we can add in the end create data h object comma handle so that's it and we'll run our program now so once again we'll check everything has entered correctly so there is no error i hope so and here we have error if you go and click there you know this is not error but it will decrease the performance it's saying but that's not a problem and there is no other error we have i'm gonna run this now so before that i will connect my cam Here our sensor and now start the program. So here the temperature from suddenly rising from zero to the current temperature. So I'm gonna it's constantly uh, on the 33. I'm going to close my LM35 now so that it will. Uh, increase the temperature so they can see that the temperature is suddenly started to increase So it is very slightly increasing. I'm gonna place this somewhere where I can find some hotspot. So again, after I removing my hand, the temperature is dropping down. That you can see in the window there. So it's going to reach its end because that we have set the loop only for a hundred. So here the temperature is again come down to the room temperature. Here you can see the program is going to stop now. Yes, it stopped because the reason it has reached a hundred, it has stopped. And that's it for this tutorial. I'm winding up this session. Thank you for watching.